Hi everyone, it's Jen, and I am Paranoid. I'd like to welcome you to my September bullet journal setup. Now what I was trying to go for was a Windows 95, but I think I got some Windows 3.1 blended in there, so it's just a little bit retro. I did a simple window uh, with letters welcome to September on it, and I did some little icons, and then I did green for the background of the desktop. For the next part of the bullet journal, I did the monthly spread. And I just kind of made it like a folder with a little window hiding out, peeking out from behind. And again, the background of the desktop is green to keep up with the theme. After the monthly spread, I did a habit tracker. I hadn't done a habit tracker in my last maybe one or two spreads, but I decided to go back into it and do it again. I really wanted to put each habit in like its own little window. And you can see here that September has 31 days. Now I know this, but I did not have a stamp which is 30 days. So what I had to go do afterwards was go back and just use whiteout to take out the number 31 from each of the habits I want to record. Hi there, I'm editing this and I don't know if I mentioned it, I forgot to say that I changed the windows outline color to gray after I started with, with purple. I kind of like the gray better on the green. Oh, sorry. That's just my explanation. I'm sticking to it and that's what I'm going with. On with the show. So what was I going to put in this big empty space I had left? I was going to put the Minesweeper game. Now I did try to replicate it as best I could. I'm pretty sure I messed up on the location of the mines, but I really liked the effect that I got using white and gray markers and then just drawing all the little boxes. Yes, it was labor intensive, but I really liked the effect I got at the end.
for my first weekly spread, I just drew a bunch of long rectangles and I made them each a little window for each day of the week. And then a smaller section, well, not a smaller section, a section at the end for notes. Because truth be told, I got carried away with drawing lines and I didn't want to draw a box, but I drew a box. So it ended up being notes. Again, each little window has its minimum and maximum closing boxes drawn in. And then gray as an outline and green to tie it all in together with the desktop. At the bottom of the weekly spread, I just drew some little boxes as if I had a whole bunch of different tabs or programs open on the desktop with the little Microsoft start button drawn in at the bottom left. And here we have the flip through of my September bullet journal spread. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying flip. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching it. And maybe you want to check out my other videos of bullet journal spreads. Thanks again for watching. Bye.